Hey everyone, this weekend it's the Chinese New Year and it's a year of the rat. And to celebrate, the Chinese have done what they do best, copying things from the West and they've taken the whole rat motif to a new level by having a plague, just like Europe did back in the 14th century with all the rats. Yes, it's not so much Kung Fu as Kung Flu, as the coronavirus looks set to kill up as of 100,000 people, which are the death numbers you more associate with factory workers and iPhone factory. And there are genuine fears that it could kill millions over the next month or two, a tragedy that would no doubt be blamed on Brexit, even if it only happened in mainland China. In any other week, really, there'd be the Brexit bill to discuss or the ongoing impeachment proceedings in Washington. You know, presumably in a year's time, the hard left will blame Chinese interference in the news cycle for President Trump being re-elected, which to many would probably be seen as a greater tragedy than 100 million people dying in a mass pandemic. In France, where this story has finally been mentioned after a solitary person became ill, proving that the media there cares a lot less for a thousand yellow vests than it does for one yellow chest. In China itself, that really is quite serious, with a dozen cities in lockdown, the most well-known of which being Wuhan, not to be mistaken for the kingdom of Bhutan, or indeed hip-hop group the Wutan clan. It's a huge city, larger than London in fact, and they're now mobilising an army of builders as well as the actual army in order to construct a specialist hospital in just six days. Blimey, that's something even the Labour Party didn't promise at the last election. Let's just hope they're not buying any of the equipment on the eBay sites in China though, because in my experience that takes more like six weeks. Anyway, see you next week, stay safe, and if you fancy Asian food, maybe try sushi. See you next week. Bye.